Hello, my loves. I wanted to take a moment to do a heart-centered meditation today, um, just to bring some awareness into that space, to call in self-love, compassion, and activating the soul center um, through the rest of the chakras as well, calling in Archangel Raphael to help with healing in this space. So many of us have dealt with breakups and matters of the heart that have left us feeling a little bit of broken or reserved, um, maybe noticing that we close off our chests a little bit more often rather than allowing ourselves to fully be expansive and open to unconditional love. So I wanted to bring in this meditation today for you, um, guided by Reiki, of course. So if you would like to receive, open yourself up to receive, come into a nice, comfortable and relaxed position. Start to take in some deep breaths. Make sure you're nice and cozy. If you have a blanket or pillows nearby, feel free to grab those as well. If there's any stones that are calling to you or essential oils, please go ahead and grab those as well. I have rose quartz today, as well as black kyanite and my macho man golden healer, the power stone, um, to really get in there and heal any of those broken cords or lower vibration cords that are maybe holding on and preventing you from fully erasing love with new relationships um, and new experiences. So let's go ahead and get started. Take yourself into that comfortable seat. Start to focus on your breath, soften your eyes, close, either place your crystal on your heart space, if that is what calls to you, or perhaps just in your hand, the right or the left hand is the hand to receive in. The right hand is typically the hand to send out. So sometimes I do one in each as it flows through me, it flows out to you. And with that, we take nice deep breaths. Let your belly just relax here. Deep inhale, fill your lungs all the way. Create nice space within your spine so you can get to the full capacity of your lungs. And a big open mouth exhale. Getting all the stale air out letting your belly compress back into your spine, taking another breath just like that, deep inhale, breath in. And a big open mouth, exhale, feel free to sigh it out. Taking one more deep inhale, cleansing breath, breathe it in. Biggest breath of your day so far, this time we'll hold just for a second at the top. Hold, 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 draw everything in. And a big open exhale. <sighs> now just settling into your space, noticing where you're holding on to tension and allowing each breath to soften into deeper relaxation. Taking a nice deep breath in and a softening exhalation out. Nice deep inhale breath in. Softening exhalation out. Each breath, letting muscles soften a little deeper, merging your body with whatever is supporting you. Visualizing that energy transmitting down into the earth, connecting into the crystalline core, mother earth holding you in support, in love. Draining out anything not serving you and allowing that to be regenerated in the earth, transmuted and transformed. Mm. 
And then bringing your awareness into your heart space. Calling in Archangel Raphael to assist in the healing, bringing his beautiful green light into the space. Yeah, starting to let that green light dance around your chest. Noticing what areas it goes to first, taking a little scan of your chest, noticing any areas of tension or tightness, maybe some discomfort, any little pings or sensations you may be feeling here. Allowing each breath to go into that space and merge with this beautiful green light. Allowing it to create flow, connection, and opening up this space. Each round of breath, allowing your shoulders to soften into the ground just a little deeper. The heart space to open a little bit more. And we call on Archangel Michael to help with the protection of this space and to use his blue healing light connected to his sword to remove any cords that we may be holding on to that are connected to other people or past situations, maybe even future situations that are bringing us to a lower vibration around love. Maybe any past traumas and asking that he remove these cords and send them back to their owners with the highest frequency of love and healing. And allowing us to return any pieces that we've sent out to others, collecting all of our fragments and broken pieces that have been expended, expelled out to others and allowing them coming back into us, fitting that mosaic together, healing our heart cavity and our space, returning with love. And allowing that green light of Raphael to seal in the space to heal any wounds, any traumas, to bring light into those situations, a perspective shift into those situations. And just channeling in the beautiful rose quartz, allowing that crystal to aid in this healing as well. Breathing in the qualities of the rose quartz, letting that soft pink color merge in with the beautiful green of Raphael. Intertwining to almost look like a DNA strand as it fills in each little molecule, each cell within your heart space. Activating parts of you that have been laid dormant that you have masked or stuck down into the shadows that maybe weren't accepted by others, but allowing them to come forward again now. Now feeling all this beautiful divine light filling your heart cavity from the front to the back, all around the sides, beginning to expand out of your body and take up space around you, cleansing out your auric field, your energetic field, the room or the space that you're in at this moment. With each round of breath that you take, start to visualize this green and pink DNA strand, the rose quartz combined with 
Raphael's healing beginning to expand up and down through your chakras. So coming up through the high heart into your throat. Not only the front side of your body, but the back side of your body reaching into your shoulders, the back of your neck, the front of your neck, and all the places in between. Extending down into your solar plexus, your hara, as well as this center of self. Calling back that authenticity within you. And just breathing deep into that space, continuing to extend these lights into your higher chakras. Most frequently we live within the bottom three chakras. So these exercises, these meditations, opening up the space, visualizing this green light circulating your body. And now as it begins to move, also feeling into that unconditional love. That feeling that we want to send out so often, call it back into you. Send it into yourself. Like wrapping yourself in the biggest hug you've ever received and let that soak into each cell as you travel up and down your chakras. Continue to breathe and channeling in that green light wrapped around the pink, the soft pink of the rose quartz. Allowing it to flow freely from the heart all the way up to your crown. All the way down into the tail and then beginning to expand above and below your body. Wrapping all the way around, healing and sealing in this unconditional love. And as these beautiful lights are traveling around, feeling that within your body, feeling that emotion. And beginning to visualize yourself completely healed, giving this unconditional love, not only to yourself in the fullest capacity, but also to all of those around you. What would it look like to be free from those traumas, free from any past hurts or fears of allowing love in again and allowing yourself to fully feel in each moment to embrace each new relationship each new person that comes into your space with unconditional love cleansing your aura to be filled with this space filling up your energetic field so that all those that come in contact with you or even close enough into your energy field to heal it will begin to feel that joy and that unconditional love radiating out of your heart. Uplifting their spirits when they're in need. And continuing to flow from the divine channel down into your heart and out to others. Knowing that whenever you need, you can tap into this space. Calling on Raphael or any of your guides for emotional healing, ancestors, angels, and asking them to refill your body, to channel in that clear, pure, divine energy, that unconditional love to nourish each cell within your body. 
And allow this feeling to travel so far through and around your body that you feel the warmth circulating, pulsing, and allowing you to feel that lightness within. Each deep breath in, pulling in more of this beautiful energy. And each exhale out, allowing anything not needing to be in you any longer, just dissolve down into the earth. Visualizing this flow, cleansing and purifying through your body. Now sealing in all these chakras with this pure love, allowing them to vibrate at the same pace, the same frequencies, in the same direction, all in sync with each other, vibrating at this harmony, this love. Feeling in this energy with a beautiful white light wrapping all the way around your body as wide as you can imagine your energetic field going. This thick divine white light, sealing that in, holding your space pure, cleansed, and strong. Knowing that this vibration is stronger than any other frequency that you'll walk into or encounter. Allowing yourself to emerge whole, content, compassionate, and full of this unconditional love. Bringing in a beautiful smile to your face. Feeling the sin. Vibrating into this emotion of gratitude right before coming back into your space. And continuing on into your day from that space of gratitude. Noticing the little things even when things get crazy allowing yourself to return back to what you're grateful for. Allowing those situations that arise that may usually upset your vibration to flow, to flow in and out, be resolved and move forward back into your space of gratitude, back into love and compassion. Start to bring slow movements into your body, wiggling through your fingers and your toes, giving a gentle head shift side to side. Saying yes to your day, yes to the love that you've cultivated, yes to expansive thinking. And staying in that expansive space full of love, full of compassion. Gently beginning to blink your eyes back open. 